Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the challenge, boy. Frozen over, guys. Your brand new video, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we are dropping the new and updated settings video I have for Warzone. And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I don't know a lot of the settings. People have helped me out, and I don't know what a lot of the shit means. But I'm just gonna show you what what I have, and um, more so like you know what my keybinds are for my mouse and keyboard and stuff like that. So let's get into it. So keyboard and mouse. Um. I mean, right now I was playing recently. I haven't played on controller because it's OP and it doesn't take any <clears throat> skill. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. Please don't hate me. Anyways, guys, we have the keyboard and mouse. Um, the mouse sensitivity 5.6 sensitivity. I'm also at 800 DPI, so that's uh the DPI that I recommend. 800. Um, you can also go to 400 if you would like, but it doesn't really. It's personal preference. Anyway, all of my um multipliers are on 1.0 except for my flying. And my ADS mouse sense is on relative. So all this stuff is disabled. Mouse acceleration, I always have that on zero. You also should disable that um, in your Windows options as well. Um, mouse filtering is on uh, zero as well. And mouse smoothening is disabled. Movement. Now, side behavior, I have tap, uh, crouch, toggle, prone toggle, um, airborne mantle, disable, sprint, auto attack sprint is on toggle. And... Um, along with the automatic sprint right here as well, or the sprint taxo sprint is on toggle. Walk behavior on hold, walk speed, 45%. I didn't really change any of this stuff, to be honest, except for the um, parachute auto deploy. Um, definitely um, turn that off. I'm on mouse and keyboard, so the hold to use, um, I don't have that. So my key binds, now WASD are the normal. My interact or use is E, my jumping is spacebar, which is normal. Um, and the crouching slash sliding is c so i use both if you're sprinting and then you hit c you slide and then left control because you know you use the left side of your palm you can prone out and drop shot if you'd like and then left shift is how i activate that attack sprint as well yes and then sprays t stuff like that um we have um everything right here i think a lot of this is just default as, as well i don't really do any of this random stuff right here as um either let's see let's see fire weapon normal normal reload r so now i use the top side mouse button right here um to swap my weapons uh let's see z is my mounting alternate fire b you can take that off if you don't want to put your stuff in single fire nobody likes single fire i don't know why that's a thing um i use my lethal equipment which is q and then my tactical which is g and then i use my armor plates on the bottom side mouse button considering that i can still keep my fingers on wasd and still have full movement on my mouse while i'm healing um and stuff like that so i use the side mouse button and then my field upgrade is two uh yeah that's pretty like pretty much like that but a lot of this stuff really personal preference really um your key binds but i know a lot of people have been asking for my key binds so those are the ones that i use Okay, graphics. I'm just gonna go over the graphics, guys. Like I said, I don't really know much. I don't like. I don't understand what any of this shit does. I just, I just have it in. I put it and I changed it. So that's what I use. So just letting you know, no, I don't. If you have questions, I mean, I'm always streaming, and a lot of people are asking for settings, um, in my stream. So this video is probably gonna be, you know, direct or you're gonna be directed to this video from my stream. So, um, I was on full screen. Um, figure out, uh, you know, your display stuff, um, 240 hertz render resolution is at 100 always. Sometimes that bugs out because like 66 sometimes. Um, aspect ratio, automatic, sync, V, the V-sync, disable, custom frame rate. Um, I have 240, 60, 30. Brightness, I'm at 60%. Display gamma, 2.2. Um, NVIDIA highlights, I have disabled. And then the low latency NVIDIA, I have enabled. And then quality, field of view, I play a max of FOV um <laughs> console <laughs> anyway um camera movement less 50 percent streaming quality is on normal texture resolution on high texture fil filter on high particle quality on high i have a 3090 so i kind of just max the shit up so uh bullet impact i have disabled tessellation i have on all this dismemberment and gore effects i have enabled and then on demand texture streaming is disabled Filmic strength is zero, film grain zero, DLSSS disabled, anti aliasing always should be off. That is ugly. Depth of field disabled, uh, world motion blur disabled, and weapon motion blur disabled. I always have those off. That is disgusting. Um, unless you want to get nauseous and throw up. Um, 
shadow map resolution on low uh cash spot shadows is on uh, disabled cash sun shadows disabled particle lighting on normal um direct x ray tracing disabled ambient occlusion disabled sp screen space reflection disabled i don't know what any of that shit means but that's that's what it is um a lot of this stuff is personal preference your mini map should always be a square um the rotation should always be enabled um i personally have the packet loss server latency and the fps counter up at the top left of my screen um let's see audio you kind of just mess with your audio it depends on if you have a mixer go xlr or something like that you just always you mess with yours you know it, it just it's personal it's all personal shit i always have my volume on zero dialogue low um stuff like that i personally play with boost low i know a lot of people ask me i actually use earbuds right now and i've been really enjoying the earbuds i just haven't plugged into the go xlr i know there's probably a lot of more better options for that but i'm gonna be honest it's call of duty audio sucks probably you know 80 percent of the time anyway so it is what it is okay controller i play on tactical button layout i play in seven eight suns so i probably should just be like eight eight or something i don't know why it's seven eight don't have an answer for that ads sensitivity um multiplier is on 1.0 my dead zones are 0 0.05 um dynamic um aim response vibration should never be on you're weird if you play the vibration on aim assist i mean here's the thing guys aim assist if you um you know if you want to be a cheater just turn that shit on keep that shit on anyway that's all of those but i think that's just most of the settings i don't think i really miss anything um yeah, I don't really think I missed anything, but that's just the basic rundown of all my um, settings, my key binds, my controller settings. And like I said, guys, I don't know what's the best and what's not. These are just what I use. And a lot of people ask what my settings are. Also on OBS, I do have a um, saturation filter. Um, I also have like a, you know, brainless filter on there as well too. So just on OBS, so it doesn't, I don't use NVIDIA filters because it affects the, um, the FPS. So anyways, guys, that's the video. If you guys aren't already, guys, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. That would mean the absolute word to me. Um, and uh, if this helps you out in any way, shape, or form, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. I really would appreciate that. And um, hope you guys enjoyed it. So hope this helped. And uh, it's just kind of a basic rundown of the all the settings. So, all right. Take it easy, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Great rest of your night. Peace and blessings. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.